Hi, this is Adam from As Productions, and this is the review of the Antec Cooler H20 920. Before I start, I'll just show you that the Cooler 920 and the 620 are very similar. And with the 920 being the bigger brother, it obviously comes with slightly better features. However, for the purposes of this review, I will review only the 920, and hope you get all the information you need from that. If you would like to know more about the 620 cooler, I have included a link to a very detailed page that shows you all of the specs that the cooler has to offer. Hopefully this will clear up any queries that you may have. Without further ado, let's get on with the review. Firstly we have some manuals that don't really matter, because the chances are that if you buy this product you already know what you're doing, or what it does. Although if you choose to use the manual, you will find that it is very clear and comprehensive and it should allow you to get started very quickly. Here are the cables that connect to the cooler block. One of them connects to your motherboard so that it can retrieve power, whereas the other ones are connecting the fans to give them power, or they are used to connect to the USB header in your motherboard. Be very careful when opening this water cooling kit for the first time, as you may not realise that it does actually come with the thermal compound already applied on the copper base. Two 120mm fans are included in the box, and both have 4-pin connectors which in turn means that they are fully compatible with PWM speed control. As much as I like the design of this cooler, I must say that I had a really hard time trying to fix it to the motherboard. As an example, when you screwed one side of the bracket down, the other one just popped up and all sorts of minor annoyances like that. Please note however, despite these negatives, the cooler does actually provide a significant reduction in the overall temperature of your CPU. If these temperatures don't look very impressive to you, that is because my computer is underneath the desk, on a carpet, with the airflow very limited. Overall, I think this water cooler has the potential to give you some amazing cooling results. However, the installation is quite fiddly, and often leaves you wanting to smash it to smithereens before you get the chance to actually use it. Hey everyone, I'd just like to let you know that many people have actually reported the issue that I have on different types of forums, but this forum here is the overclock forums. What my problem is, is I install the water cooling kit. I go to run the software that it's included that you saw previously on the CD. It then asks me to check the USB device when I've connected it already successfully. So I'm really not sure what I should do, so I'm going to have to just put up with it for the time being until I find a fix, but I'll let you know in the description if I find one. This kit is great for those of you that are new to the water cooling game. This is because it gives you the reassurance that the water will simply not just leak out all over that brand new gaming rig that you saved up all summer for. Thank you very much for watching, this has been Adam from Ads Productions with the review of the Antec Cooler H20920 Next Generation Maximum Performance Liquid CPU Cooling System.